everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really fun. I'm so excited for it. It is a self-care apps video. I'm gonna be talking to you guys all about some of my favorite self-care apps and we're also gonna try out some. Um, I'm wearing my smiley face tank top today because we're talking about self-care and self-care is one of my favorite topics. I have one self-care app I wanted to tell you all about that I had really been liking and then I downloaded five other ones that I wanted to try out with you all and we kind of like look and see if we thought they'd be beneficial. Yeah, I thought that'd be fun to have my phone here today. If you want to see a what's on my iPhone or an iPhone case collection video, I'll link both of those in the description below. I have videos for both of those for my iPhone 10. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Also, I would love to have you join the fam. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I don't want you to miss any of my videos, so definitely subscribe if you're new. Okay, so I'm screen recording my phone, so I'm gonna put that right here, um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I have this whole folder here called self-care. The one that I already had that I wanna tell you all about that I really like is Lil Space. It's really great because it really just encourages you to unplug. So if I wanted to unplug for mindful eating, so I think that it's really important to unplug for when you eat your meals. What you can do is just hit unplug and focus here for mindful eating and then hit start. I don't wanna set my status, but then you just hit start. You can stop and then resume or finish. And then you can see in your profile like how many um, days, hours, minutes you've been unplugged for, which is really nice because it just like encourages you to get away from your phone. And while I love my phone, I love social media, I think it's also really important to be mindful about our use of social media. So I really like Lil Space, not only with like eating, that's just literally an example that I pulled up here, but like meditation, journaling, um, like family time, exercise. I definitely recommend downloading Lil Space. I think it's really fun. And then let's just kind of go through the rest of these apps and see how we like them. The first one is Pacifica. And this one just says habits for a healthy mind more than just meditation. Let's choose our theme, um, city lights, duh. I love New York City, so that's my favorite. Um, and I'm gonna make my account here for a second. So the first thing you do after you make your account is you set your goals and you select up to three. I think, think positively. Let's say feel happier and live healthier. I mean, all of those are important. That was like hard to pick my three. So this is something that they do called how are you feeling? So you choose your current mood and then you can select feelings. Great, very good, good, okay, not good bad and awful. I'm feeling very good um, and you can talk about your feelings so I'm feeling calm, grateful, content and productive. And you just hit done and it saves your feelings. It'll give you activities, meditate, present in this moment, health, go for a walk, hope, add an uplifting picture or quote. Let's do that. Your hope board is your personal place for inspiration, coping, and joy. This is so fun. Okay, so I added this photo. It says there are no strangers in here, just friends you haven't met yet. But you can caption them if you want, which is nice. And then you have this little board and you can scroll through all of your um, pictures. That's awesome, I really like that. Your tools, hope, health, thoughts, goals, mood. Well, this is fun. Okay, I really like this app so far. Now we're gonna go Calm. It says take a deep breath. Calm can change your life, choose your top goals. So this is like similar. It may even be produced. It kind of seems like it's produced by the same developer, if we're being honest. Increase happiness, develop gratitude, and reduce anxiety. Okay, so I'm gonna log in real quick with Facebook. Okay, so now logging in, oh. Okay, so does this cost money? Okay, so I just hit X and I think I can do it without getting the premium yeah there's just like certain ones that are premium on here too yeah see that's i don't like how this one is this one's way more about their premium stuff because like you can find this music on spotify meditate i mean these could be good i love these breathe bubbles i like the other one more because it doesn't shove premium in your face as much. So I definitely recommend Pacifica over Calm. I think I'm gonna delete it, honestly. Happy Five, and this one looks like fun. Okay, so I'm gonna sign up with Facebook. See, they have premium stuff too. I just, okay, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like being like shoved for a premium. I just wanna, ch I need, like I need you to chill. Let's see our full list of tracks. Um, okay, I don't need your statistics. Just let's do stuff. Okay, so Conquer Your Negative Thoughts is free. And then like, okay, cope better with stress, reach for excellence, be a mindful leader, beat burnout and build, oh, that's premium. It's just frustrating how, can we just see the, yeah, let's just see the free ones. So this seems like kind of fun, like let's click on defeat loneliness. 
and if we start this track what happens so on each track it's like a 10 day track you have like small steps it's like honestly kind of confusing this one's okay i'm not like loving this one i honestly like pacifica the most so far like it was it's the least like aggressive about getting premium i don't know if i'll delete it yet but not my favorite now we're doing grateful so this one enjoy the little things for one day you may look back and realize they were big things so this is basically like a gratitude journal app it prompts you for what to write about so you can say what made you laugh today so my dad um told me like a story about my dog that made me laugh because she's just like funny and she's so smart and like whatever so you can do another one what are you looking forward to so you can do as many as you want every day I really like this app. This is really simple. This is probably my favorite one so far. Okay, you can sort by date, tag, prompt, random. You can set reminders to put in your grateful, to write in your grateful journal every day. This is something that would not take long at all to do and would be a really good habit to do every day. Um, you can make the background dark or light. I'm gonna make it dark. We're gonna make the main color this like pink color. And I like medium. So they have premium. They say why upgrade. I don't really care because I'm not going to. So like that's fun it's like dark oh I love that you could literally just do that like it would take one minute every day like at the end of your day before you go to bed to write something you're grateful for this is my favorite one so far okay this is going to the front you rock this is our last one for this video so think up will help you build a positive mindset through affirmations and self-talk so I love affirmations okay so this is kind of just a similar thing it's like an affirmation journal I think um, but they give you a recommended affirmation. You create and record your personal affirmations. I am grateful for the good in my life. So these are all kinds of affirmations that you can say for different things. So like for, let's say, mental health stress relief. So like you can add ones that speak to you. So I love myself for who I am. I'll add that one. My tension is melting away. That's a good one for stress. I'm thankful and grateful for the abundance in my life. I mean, all of these are good. Being present. I breathe in love, I breathe out everything in me that is not loving. That one's great. Okay, so then here we go, more about premium. Continue to record for free. So to select more than four, you have to upgrade to premium. Okay, that's annoying. I like this app. So here and then you can hear, you can listen to all of your daily affirmations and you can hear your voice saying them. This is a really good idea. Ugh, this makes me mad that they only let you do four for free. Listen to just abundance, just relax. That's nice. So I'm a little frustrated with this app and like how it's making me pay $25 to record more than four affirmations. Honestly, that's kind of a flop. I'm honestly gonna delete this one because it is gonna make you pay. Okay, so my favorite apps from today, from our experiment, definitely Grateful is my favorite one, the gratitude journal. This is so simple, so easy. It's not making you pay. It's not shoving premium down your throat. You can um, set a different prompt if you don't like the one that I didn't even know that you could set a different prompt if you don't like the one they gave you definitely my number one favorite app from this today Pacifica I really like this I feel like you there's a lot of apps that we tried today that do stuff kind of like this one but I think this is the best one that does all of it you can see your history of your moods which is really nice I know that a lot of people like to do something like that in their bullet journals where they say like how good of a day it was so and then there's like a little chart at the top Okay, I like Pacifica, I like Grateful, and then I already had a little space and I knew that I liked that one. Um, shows you how long you've unplugged for, so you could maybe like try to set a goal of unplugging for an hour this week. Happy Five, honestly, I'm not that into this one. I think I'm gonna delete it. There you go, you guys. I just decoded the best self-care apps. We went from six to a top three today. I hope that this was helpful so that you all don't have to deal with like the apps that weren't as good as these so now you know the top three. Grateful, Pacifica, and Little Space are definitely my favorites out of the ones I tried today. If you have any favorite self-care apps that I didn't mention in this video, let me know in a comment below because I want to have a community of like helping everyone out. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below to let me know that you like videos like this, self-care kind of stuff. It's one of my favorite topics so if you want more stuff like this, let me know what other videos you want to see because I always want to make videos that you're excited to watch. And yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.